soil, the interface of air, mineral, water and life, organic matter. Hello and welcome again. I am Muzami Larine and today we are going to talk about the components of the soil. So let's start. You know that the regolith meet the atmosphere, the worlds of air, rock, water, and living thing are intermingled. In fact, the four major components of soil are air, water, mineral, and organic matter. The relative proportions of these four components greatly influence the behavior and productivity of soils. In a soil, the four components are mixed in complex pattern. However, the proportion of soil volume occupied by each component can be represented in a simple pie chart. A handful of soil may at first seem to be a solid thing, it should be noted that only about half the volume consists of solid volume. Of the solid material, typically most is mineral matter derived from the rocks of the Earth's crust. Only about the 5% of the volume in this ideal soil consists of organic matter. However, the influence of the organic matter component on soil properties is often far greater than its small proportion would suggest. Since it is far less dense than mineral matter, Organic matter accounts for only about 2% of the weight of this soil. The space between the particles of solid materials are just as important to the nature of a soil as of the solid themselves. It is in these poor spaces that air and water circulate, roots grow, and microscopic creatures live. Plant roots need both air and water. In an optimum condition for plants, the pore space will be divided roughly equally among the two, with 25% of the soil volume consisting of water and 25% consisting air. If there is much more water than this, the soil will be waterlogged. If much less water is present, plants will suffer from drought. The relative proportions of water and air in the soil typically fluctuate greatly as water is added or lost. Soils much more than 50% of their volume in solids are likely to be too compacted for good plant good plant growth. Compared to surface soil layers, subsoils contain less organic matter, less total pore space, a larger proportion of small pores, microspores, which tend to be filled with water rather than with air. If this journey has left you as or inspired as it has me, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating revelations. Hit that notification bell, so you never miss a chance to dig deep into the marvels of our planet.